In today's video I will show you how to make your very own acrylic LED sign and it's a perfect project for anyone who wants to light up their day. You could make beautiful decorations and it would be the perfect gift for someone you care for. Or why not tell yourself that you are awesome? Let's get started. The first step is to print out an image and I went with this beautiful looking rose. If you have the option to choose from 4 and 2mm acrylic, definitely go with the 4mm, but I went with the 2mm for my first attempt. Only remove the protective film on one side of the sheet, this way you won't scratch the surface while engraving. I then grabbed some clear tape and secured the stencil to the acrylic. Last week I made a very useful do-it-yourself engraving tool that we are going to be using for this project. It ended up working better than expected, it was very comfortable to use for the entire engraving and my hand didn't get tired. After almost 30 minutes I realized that engraving something that is not supposed to be perfect makes it way easier because the imperfections I make will look very natural. The sheet of acrylic was too large so I made a few lines and used a knife to cut the material. Yeah, you will have to make a couple of passes, but once you have cut deep enough, you can snap the pieces apart, resulting in a very fine edge. Obviously, you want to do this before engraving. I also made the corners soft, though this is only personal preference. Now the base can be made from basically any material, however I found some scrap pieces of wood I will use, but it would be interesting to try out the 3D printed base in the future. After some sanding I also grabbed a piece of 6mm white foam, this will make a very interesting line of illuminated light on the bottom part of our base. I cut the piece of foam the same size as one of the wooden parts. With the 12 volt LED strip resting in the center of the foam, I cut out the outline and removed the axis foam. I placed the LED strip inside and made a groove for the wires to go through. I then used my hot glue gun to glue everything together. For the final step I simply connected the black and the red wire to the matching terminal of the jack adapter. Go and get your box of adapters and grab one with a 12 volt output. Don't have one? I'm sure you can find one around your house or buy one online. Links in the description below. Now plug in the power supply and enjoy your creation. You can also play with different colors and different styles of photos and text. 
text and numbers can be a little bit more difficult to get perfect, definitely use a larger bold font. The smaller the letter, the less precision you will have. Another great tip I didn't use the first time around is to use a ruler. Way easier to get straight lines and with the new technique the letters became much better. It is not necessary to make multiple bases, simply make the acrylic sheets the same width and now you can swap them out however you want. I hope you did enjoy that project, I sure did, I think it turned out beautiful. Uh, I am gonna make a nicer version of my logo and might even set it up permanently up here somewhere. Uh, but that's it for today's video, I hope you enjoyed it, have a nice day, bye.